shake my hand or something. And she got on this guy's shoulder and literally he walked her through the crowd while she was like, you know, shaking everybody's hand while she was singing. It, it's a, again, a stupid little thing. Uh, and it didn't uh, take away from the integrity of the music or the show. But you know what? That's the thing I'll, I'll, I'll never forget. As, as my memory fades, I probably won't remember the guitar solos and the great uh, sequencing drum sounds and blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to remember her going through the crowd on, on, on the shoulders of this, you know, big Hagrid kind of guy. You know what I mean? I thought it was great. You know, it, it's something to remember. Right, exactly. And you can apply this to all sorts of areas. Again, we're talking, you can record it to the way you record stuff. You can, rec- uh, obviously, we're, we're talking a lot about the live show, but also how about music videos? Is there something, you know, that you could do that uh, it doesn't even have to be expensive or intricate, but just something that would, would amaze people? Like a, a, a classic thing I've seen done a lot, if you can call it cl- classic, is like the one shot, um, one camera uh, videos. Oh, you mean the, the, the OK Go stuff, like the trap mills. Well, yeah, that, that was, and that's like that was like a stationary camera, and the thing that was amazing about that was their physical ability to pull that off in one take, you know. But I have you ever seen like one of these like, one camera shots where like a, there'll be somebody with a handheld camera, and they're either walking through a house or they're walking through a park, and everyone is just like positioned perfectly to come into the frame at the right time, and you could tell it's not edited, you know, because there's never a break, and it's one continuous shot with a moving camera. Yeah, I've seen, I, I mean a, a number of these videos, but. That you don't need. It's not doesn't have to be expensive. It just takes the time to prepare for it. Or and that's yeah, yeah. Or or the the Pomplamoose thing, where you know the, how they were doing their videos. You know where where they recorded themselves recording the songs and edited it together. What they call video songs. Yeah, that, that was pretty mind blowing when that came out. You know. What yeah, I mean? and, I, and that took some editing chops. You have to have the you know yeah. You have to there's a learning curve and learning how to use the equipment and all that. But and that's a lot of that stuff is free these days, you know, the, the, uh, so it's just a matter of time. So, you know, come up with a concept, you know, for a video, for a promotion, for, uh, uh like a flash mob type of thing or something just, to, but to ask that open-ended question, what could I do with my music that would blow people away, you know? And, 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 and there's a part of, uh, Goal set or not goal setting, but um, 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 idea cr- uh, creation or brainstorming where in the initial stage, nothing is off limits. You don't judge. You don't uh, um, yeah, put anything down. You get people in a, in a room and you just throw out ideas and write them down. Nothing is too silly. You know, later you can come back and critique them and, and judge them, you know, but in the, during the idea generation process, you're just getting it all down. Nothing is off limits. You know, it's, um, and, and you just never know what you can come up with. Totally. You know, one thing uh, that I was has stayed with me for like ever when I when I read about it. And uh, I think this is a great way of, of approaching uh, a recording project, especially when Michael Jackson was recording. Uh, I believe it was history, his story, whatever it's called, or maybe the album before that. I'm not sure. But uh, he basically brought in all these, you know, incredible musicians programmers whatever and he would say to them okay here's the track now i'm gonna i want you to go into the studio i'm gonna leave you alone and all i ask is that when you put something down i want you to record something no one has ever heard before (laughs) i love that phrase do something no one has ever heard before and 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 it could be as simple as for instance uh with the guy from toto the keyboard player from toto he went in and he did this orchestration that was note for note, like he did every single part separately, like the violins, you know, the cellos, the brass. But he did the whole thing with these interesting synthesizer sounds. So it wasn't like so mind-blowingly weird. It was just that you've never heard an, uh, an orchestra put together. In other words, imagine 80 guys each playing one note on a synthesizer in a room, and that's what it ended up sounding like when he was done. You see what I'm saying? Right. So it's something no one has ever heard before, you know? Did you hear the uh, the guy that did the uh, – he took Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. He changed the lyrics to make it all about, like, physics. It was like some geeky science. You know, he changed all the lyrics, and then he did all the vocal parts himself and videotaped it, you know, like pom- the, kind of like the Pomplamoose thing. And it was just – it went viral just because it was just no. so crazy. I mean, you know, hours or days, weeks, probably creating it. No, but check this out. Since you bring up Bohemian Rhapsody, on the other end, have you seen the guy uh, that did the TEDx talk? And he's uh, does some, uh, and it's it's up a few other places. He's like uh, he looks Hawaiian, I think, and he plays 
uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, every part, every nuance on the ukulele as a solo performance. Have you wow. seen that? No, no. So, so that see, that's the that's the kind of mind expanding things we're talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, and I mean, you know, and what's interesting here is what you're saying was like on one end, you could do this one thing that takes a lot of technical and production uh, prowess to do, and or you could just have a one camera. Here I am sitting down playing my man, my ukulele, blowing your mind. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, so I mean, the look at this. I mean, the 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 possibilities are literally endless. Why just do the same crap all the time? Why do what everybody else is doing? You know, there's an old thing. If you see a whole bunch of people going in that direction, immediately go in the other direction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that's a right. great rule of thumb. You know, and uh, uh, I got to tell you, some uh, in, in my career. And I've had a long career, man. I mean, I've been playing, uh, and I still am, uh, 40 years, man. I've been been out there uh, in the trenches doing gigs. And, and I'm, uh, even at, you know, the my age now, I'm still out there traveling, playing with my, my family. If you listen to last week's episode, you, you, know, you know what I do and, and how I do it. And um, uh, the times in my career that I've had the least amount of success was when I was doing things very conventionally and following the herd and, most importantly, believing the propaganda that you can't do it like this or you can't do it like that or this is dead and you don't do that. You know what I mean? So I think it's really important to listen to your your inner uh, compass or, or like that country song, follow your arrow. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. think it's really important to do that. But not drop the ball, Bob, like you said, at the end, you know, maybe you've done this mind blowing uh, music and you've done a, uh, you know, mind blowing album cover. You got this great show, but now you're going to market it just like everybody else. Doesn't it deserve to be marketed the same with the same uh, enthusiasm doing something no one's ever seen before? <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. It does. Yeah. So bring that same energy that same creativity be an artist in all areas of your career and your life and this is another lie i'd like to debunk right now i'd like to break a myth let's debunk one no i'm serious man when people 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 have been programmed to believe you you can either be creative or you can be business-like you know right brain left brain i gotta tell you man i think it's a bunch of bull i really do because you can be just as creative when it comes to business things uh, if you approach it creatively, if you approach it like it's a, you know, math class, you're going to not want to do it and you're not going to put your creativity into it. But if you approach it as another, uh, creative challenge, so to speak, you'd be amazed at what you can come up with, you know, find a way to make it fun, make it interesting and make it not be business because you're not a businessman, you know, you're doing business, but you're not a businessman. What you are is your creative person you're a creative entity and you need to take that creativity and use it in every aspect of 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 your personal business and and musical life i believe that yeah i've been saying that for decades so i'm glad it's, it's music to my ears um and also uh oh geez what was i just thinking here so were you the, just applauding me was that I, I was i was just, yeah I'm, I'm doing a seal impersonation here um <laughs> but yeah yeah it definitely you should you should do that and just yeah apply it to all areas of your life and i just lost my train of thought but go go, go ahead <laughs> so so really i mean yeah, you no, know, you said you've been saying that for decades bob I have been, yes, yes, and I'm just putting. T- I got another thing. I, I know what, what I'm being distracted because I pulled up a website in front of me to put to uh, when we we're talking about brainstorming that I was gonna I was gonna share ways of coming up with creativity. There's there's this. Have you ever heard of the scamper technique or this uh, using uh, the the scamper acronym to come up with new and innovative ideas? Absolutely, yes, I have. I don't know if everyone that's listening has. I think this is a great way to wrap up the show, Bob. Go. Yeah, well, let's do it really, really, really quick. So scamper is an acronym, and each letter of the word stands for a different thing. It's a great like little list to go through when you're brainstorming. When you let's say you have a, a CD release party, or you're trying to come up with a new idea for a music video. So scamper, the S stands for substitute. So what could you substitute for? 
for a typical element of it. For instance, uh, in, instead of uh, um, I don't know, using a camera, you use an iPhone. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of been done. But instead of playing a guitar, yeah. Well, so or instead of singing uh, I, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, I'm going to use a ukulele. So I'm going to substitute the vocals uh, with um, with uh, with the, with something that's not normally associated with that song. That's one way you can combine things. This is a classic thing of creativity where you combine two different things that normally don't go together. Like how about a tin can uh, if, in, instead of using a, uh, a hi hat? <laughs> or, 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 or combine a tin can with um, uh, I don't know a uh, <laughs> help me out something you would hit it with instead of a drumstick. A fish. There you go. <laughs> It beat a fish onto a tin can. There's your percussion. You adapt something, modify it. These are all uh, things that we can. That We're, up not doing, We're up to A. We're up to A. Justice. Yeah, you adapt something for a different use. You modify it. Put to another use is, is where the P stands for. Eliminate. So take something out of it. Strip it down to its most basic elements and then finally r stands for reverse so do the opposite kind of like what you were talking about of what people normally do uh or with this particular element of of the thing that you're trying to come up with a big idea for and so i just wanted to introduce that google it and you know go into more in depth with it but it's a great kind of brainstorming tool wow the aliens have been speaking to us today cool cool hey listen uh Thank you so much for uh, continuing to listen to our show. Uh, hopefully, you're getting some really cool stuff out of it. We'd like to hear your thoughts on what you've learned today, and uh, we'd like to know what's working uh, for you or not working. Uh, whatever you like to talk about, the best way to reach us. Uh, we'd love to hear your audio. You could do that at speakpipe.com slash Mr. Buzz Factor. And that Mr. is just M-R, not spelled out. But uh, speakpipe.com slash Mr. Buzz Factor. You can use your phone. You can use uh, the, the, the microphone on your computer to leave us a digital voicemail that we will get and incorporate into the show. Or you can use a fish. And a tin can, yes. That's right. <laughs> Fantastic. And don't forget today, uh, hopefully, there will be a great new uh MMM chat. That's hashtag MMM chat on Twitter, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where uh, folks like you will be discussing what we're talking about right now. That's right. As long as today is a Monday. It's every Monday at 3 p.m. Yeah, Eastern. every Monday. Fantastic. Bob, uh, anything else uh, you got going on? You mentioned uh, the this came from a, a book uh, that you have. Yeah, the five minute music marketer. It's doing really well on Amazon. It's available in like thirteen countries as an ebook. I'm working on getting into a printed version soon, and also uh, really uh, getting ready to launch my newest book. Probably my greatest work of my career is called The Empowered Artist, coming out sometime in the spring of 2015. And of course, there will be a version that comes out uh, on a fish with a tin can. That's and right. That's great, man. Hey, uh, thanks everybody for listening today. This is uh, Billy Grisak, the full time working musician. This is Bob. Huh. Files reference. <laughs> okay. Hey, Bob. I, yes. I, I totally lost you when you said this is Bob, and then you were oh. gone. Oh, really? Yeah. So, um, so just pick it up there. So, uh, this is Billy Grizak, the full-time working musician, and that is. Bob Baker coming to you live undercover from Area 51. Oh, wait a second. The UFO is beckoning me. Oh, my God. I'm being abducted. I got to run. Bye. Yeah, we're going to miss all those listeners. Wow. It's awfully quiet here now. (laughs) Bye-bye. Are you still there? Excellent! Now would be a good time to visit hostbaby.com for your free 30-day trial. Of course! 